Yo guys, so in this video I will be showing you each component of Phase Cloak's new keyboard. This includes the keyboard and the key switches he's using, the blank keycap set that covers the additional keys, the custom rubber keycap set that covers 18 keys in total, and the o-rings that are attached underneath each keycap. I'll also be showing you where to buy all of these components, so if you want, you can create the exact same keyboard as Phase Cloak. Starting off with the keyboard, Phase Cloak uses the Annie Pro 2 60% keyboard. If you didn't know already, 60% keyboards are very compact and they don't use the function keys, arrows or number pad like a regular keyboard does. This keyboard uses Gatoron brown switches. These particular switches are actually a clone of the Cherry MX key switches, which makes them more affordable. The brown switch is very popular for gaming because of the tactile bump and the feedback it provides when pressing. You can purchase this keyboard via Banggood, I'll link it in the description below. I believe that it's shipped globally, and the current price of this keyboard is £62. Cloak's keyboard has blank keycaps that cover the alternative keys. This blank keycap set comes with the Annie Pro 2 keyboard as a free bonus accessory. As you can see, you get a few different ones in pink, green, blue, purple and yellow to customise how you would like. As mentioned earlier, you can purchase this via Banggood. Cloak's keyboard also features custom rubber keycaps, which replace 18 of the standard keycaps. These rubber keycaps are in the colour neon green. You can purchase these at Taihao, but be sure to select the 18 keys option. And remember that this option doesn't come with the keys Z, X, C and V. To get these additional four keycaps, you can contact support and request either blank or lettered keycaps with an additional price on top of your order. The current price of the 18 pack is $18 and for the additional 4 keys it's $4. Phase Cloak uses o-rings underneath each keycap of his keyboard. The purpose of these o-rings is to dampen the sound of his keyboard so that his mic doesn't pick up the sound of him pressing keys when streaming. Cloak has translucent o-rings as these allow the backlight from the keyboard to shine through opposed to the standard o-rings which would block out some of the light if he was using the black colour for example. However from research most white rings are relatively translucent and are a much cheaper option. So if you're going to purchase these I'd recommend those. You can purchase these o-rings from a number of different places. I'll link in the description below for translucent and white o-rings. And yeah that's every component of Phase Cloak's new keyboard covered. If you haven't already be sure to check out my last video where I talk about TFU's keyboard in depth and how to buy it. I'll link that video below in the description and all the links to all the websites that I've talked about in this video. If you enjoyed or if the video has helped you at all be sure to drop a like and subscribe. If you want to support the channel in a super easy way be sure to go into Fortnite item shop, click on the bottom right support a creator button and type in my support a creator code code life. So thank you to everyone who's doing this it's very much appreciated and yeah see you guys in the next video peace.